Hello YouTube, this is Chesco from STEM APKs. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial and the next set of tutorials, we'll be covering uh, the, the, the GNU Active um, language, uh, which is uh, very similar uh, to MATLAB and uh, is, is very widely used. And every year, more and more packages are available. Uh, the, the advantage of, of learning this, uh, this language is that you will be able to run most of the um, MATLAB applications out there and there's a lot, there's a lot of uh, legacy code uh, written for image processing, for mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, signal processing, um, chemical engineering, there's, there's a lot of code out there that you are um, once you download these into your either your Linux uh, box or your Raspberry Pi, you are able to start running some of those programs. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to SSH into our into our Pi. SSH. Make sure you put uh, the X um, because it will become handy when we start doing plots. So you want the uh, the graphical user interface engage. So it's uh, 192, 168, 123, and 23. Enter, enter your password. And now I'm inside my Pi. Uh, uh, now the first thing you need to do is sudo uh, get update to make sure that everything is update it uh, and so they check with the, the repositories and the mirrors and this almost it's a little bit slow today it's almost done and is updated it should be updated whoa it's taking a long time today and it's done so now let's up get upgrade to make sure you have everything upgraded to the latest and now that is done let's clear this and let's uh, download one thing uh, before I, I start here I was gonna tell you they do have sources um, you can get them here but the problem um, with doing it they just went through the GNU, GNU Active 3.80 and it was just released I, I tried to download that one from source uh, one time and it took almost 18 hours and even after the 18 hours uh, because as you know Raspberry Pi takes forever to do things from uh, from source and even after those 18 hours it still was not all everything was working so I I would definitely advise you to take the one to the app get uh, install even though most of the times I like to build my own things but these this time around, I, I will advise against it. Okay. Uh, get install um, Octav. And it's going to tell me that I have the newest version because I already have it. Once you do that, you do that. The first thing I did a cheat sheet here to remind me. The next thing you need to do is to get the packages because so f so uh, right now all you have is the uh, is the um, the skeleton part the, but you don't have the individual packages so in order to do that you need to go here into the sudo app cache search for the octav packages and just go like that and it's gonna search for which uh, packages are available and these packages um, they're done by they're created by volunteers 
and sometimes uh, uh, one package might not be available uh, like let's say that you want some compatibility with uh, MATLAB sometimes it takes longer because remember this is done by volunteers this is not done this is not a, a commercial project this is completely open source so sometimes uh, these packages you know uh, let's be grateful for what they have and uh, and and they all I, I downloaded you don't have to download all of them you can if you if you have a, a, um, a 64 gigabytes uh, SD card or some I have 32 and uh, it does they don't take that long uh, that much memory but they you know it, it, it adds up after a while so I I would go with the main ones um, the ones that I did I did uh, I did octave common I did octave control I did octave FPL you want the plotting the plots these guys for sure and this guy right here you want the linear algebra and of course you want the image this is the most important right here because we'll be doing mostly image processing uh, you can have octave signal that's a good one to have also and uh, active splines you don't have to but you but this is a good one to have and once you choose the ones that you want all you need to do is do this right here and enter paste and enter and it's going to tell me <coughs> excuse me that I need some of that I'll say yes because I need a lot of the plots that's the one that I use the most so I'm just going to do that one just to make sure that everything is updated and yours is going to take a lot longer than mine because more likely you have more packages to uh, to uh, download and should be done and we will start testing it right away to make sure that they work and and setting them up it's taking a lot longer than I thought it would and it's done okay so now I'm going to enter uh, in going to the MATLAB page this is the GNU optic page uh, but I wanted to show you if you have some time going that page and, and it will tell you a lot of the history of how it started and the name is named after Octave Levenspiel but I'm going to show you some of the MATLAB applications because that's the beauty of Octave you, you have uh, a lot of or you have access to a lot of legacy code that is done already for us so let's test it to make sure that everything is working let's do a sign wave whoops I haven't even opened it I have to open it first I went ahead of myself here octave that's all you need to do to open it just active and is going to is open yours yours is not gonna look like this one because I had mine customized I'll show you how to do it in another tutorial yours more likely will look like this octave and like that so don't don't panic if if yours I just had it to customize to make it look more like the Python uh, interpreter so let's do this one paste print and what did I do wrong here? Y equals three times sine x, three times sine x times what did I do wrong here? Let's do it from scratch here. Q equals three times sine. Hmm. 
Oh, because x. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what I did wrong here. I need to make x something first. Okay, now do it. It's going to tell me now the, the exact same thing. Uh, now let's do an array with a step of 2 to make sure that the arrays are, are compatible, everything is working with, compatible with MATLAB, and they are. Let's do a, a, a matrix. This is a 1, 2, 3, uh, 4, 4 by 4 matrix. And as you can see, that's the first one, second row, third row, fourth row. Now let's pick uh, the element on row 2, column 3, which is 11, which is row 1, row 2, column 1, column 2, column 3, 11, right there. Okay, so everything seems to be working. Let's do some height of 3 to make sure that the identity matrix is working and it's good uh, the zeros matrix 2 3 a 2 by 3 and a 1 2 by 3 also oops wrong and there you go so everything seems working seems to be working so let's do let's do let's do some plotting to make sure that it's working and paste hit enter and now this is why I told you to do it with the X SSH with the X so you're able to to the graphical user interface will work on your desktop and as you can see everything seems to be working now let's do this is the big test here let's do something more complicated uh, let's do all of it and this will take a lot longer because it's a more complicated structure here and as you can see it works it works beautifully and um, like I said, in the next tutorial, we'll, we'll get in more into detail into, into certain functions and how they, they, they work, and also into other applications and how to get your, your, your interpreter customized and, uh, and make a folder. We'll do that in the next uh, tutorial. But this is the end of the tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please click the like box and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you next time. Thank you for watching.